feet, so I'll be able to dance around this guy like nothing. So don't worry, this video's lower than I actually got my uh, skill set um, set to heal me every time I evade and attack or parry. Is he's invulnerable. That's what that sound is. He's invulnerable to knockdown, stun, which is what my spark and kick does, and all that. I got to repair my weapon when I get out of here. Yes, your gear does get damaged. Um, Also, the reason why I think he's probably going down pretty easy is because I've done every quest I've come across, main and otherwise. Which is why you see my, which is why you see my quest bar filled up. Practically. Stop my uh, stance change to uh, lightning blade. So so I may be a little bit more powerful than this guy is. Actually, the first time I fought this guy, I didn't even have a quest to fight him. I was just exploring around looking for a bunch of stuff, and, uh, and I found him. And I fought him, and I just danced around him, and he didn't bear with me at all. I'm gonna kill these eggs. See, I healed uh, that little green number you saw. I healed there after I uh, after I got back up right there. Looks so like he's about to go down. So. Like, notice the one time that I do my Spartan kick, it stuns. 
almost every other time that doesn't stun at all. See, there's another stun. Normally that's a finisher on regular mobs. Got him. I need to draw some good stuff, draw some good uh, pieces. So. Here we go. Quest complete. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show y'all some other content, so stay tuned. The video goes on. Oh, by the way, guys, I also figured you guys might like to see what it looks like when you have to teleport somewhere, or how you teleport somewhere. So this is what you do. You press M for map, and you click here, and ask if you want to spend a little bit of money to teleport, and you click yes. You see, you got the symbols that appear on the ground while she's dancing. And then she down. Also, now guys, I'm going to showcase off um, the different costumes and the like of what I've got so far since I've been playing. Um, by the way, these boxes that you get, you can only open them when you have a paid subscription. If you just have a free trial, you can go all the way up to level 15 at, at a, as a free trial. Um, but when you hit, hit level 15, it won't let you play anymore until you get a paid subscription. Uh, but yeah, so obviously I'm level 16 and uh, I'm opening this box. So uh, that tells you right there, I'm not joking, I have a paid subscription. Um, see, and there's the... Uh, ooh. Wow, guys. Hold on. Hey guys, all right. Now for the next portion of the video, I'm going to take you through a little bit of the character creation process of what it's like in the final game. See, which see is you got all your different classes. Up here it shows what they're capable of doing. Uh, up here are the different races. Now you got your Lin, um, Sorceress or whatever. Uh, this is the assassin. Uh, blade master. And uh, kung fu master, I believe. This is a giant race. Only they can be berserkers, though. This is your Lin. Your Lin Blade Master. I'm assuming that's a healer I'm going to try to get. I plan on trying all the classes eventually. Uh, that's probably a summoner. Yeah, that was a summoner. And then you got this one, which is a new spellcaster, obviously. And these are just run down to the same classes. Uh, these can be female only. Anyway, let's say I wanted to create a ninja. Oh, wrong one. Let's create a ninja. Now over here you got uh, your different backgrounds you can choose for uh, you know what you want to look at them as. So we'll go ahead. Notice instead of the character turning, it's the whole background that turns, which I think was a pretty cool touch. I mean, you you got your presets. Uh, you generally go among these, but you can go in the options and change their height and width. Um, each one ha each 